Let's talk about Koti, a $250 million crypto with some big plans. This is a project that I'm really excited to invest in that could easily become a top 50 crypto if it achieves what it is set out to do. At the moment, it is number 180 on the coin market cap list as I make this video. So what I want to talk about in this video is what Koti is all about, a little bit about its partnerships, its tokenomics, its price, where you can buy it and what the situation is if you want to stake it. So let's get straight to it. So what is Koti trying to achieve? They want to be the currency of the internet but their strategy for achieving this is a little bit different to other cryptocurrencies that are also going after the same goal. What they are doing is taking some of the good elements of the traditional international payment system and mixing it with the great elements that blockchain actually gives you. Here are some of the current problems with the traditional payment system from Koti's perspective. So these include the likes of latency, the fees and cross-border limitations. Koti has brought this system into the modern era by building digital rails that accept both fiat and crypto. Online payment platforms like PayPal are very slow in catching up with the times. And they do not give you instant settlement and low FX fees. And they're still trying to bring in cryptocurrencies, but it's not fully functional everywhere in the world at the moment. But the Koti universal payment system reconciles the functionality of PayPal with the crypto world. So they offer you instant settlement, no FX fees. You can choose between either fiat or crypto. You can also buy, sell or swap cryptocurrency on their app and there is also very low fees because there is no need for a third party processor. You can also earn interest on stablecoin accounts on the app and they also offer you the ability to get a virtual debit card. And it has been built with e-commerce completely in mind so you can build in plugins to the likes of your Shopify websites. I really like their strategy for this reason. We are naive to think that the international payment system for both fiat and crypto won't be subject to regulation. Cryptos like XRP who are trying to replace the international SWIFT payment system are running into a good few kind of regulatory issues and have also been sued by the SEC. But Koti plans to stay within the limits of the current regulatory system and they are also have been applying for an e-money license in Europe. The Koti CEO and founder Shahaf Bargeffin makes a really good point that any revolutionary technology should be presented in a way that you don't even realize that you're using it. Koti's apps are presented like the internet banking apps that we're all used to, but it has the blockchain technology buried behind it. Whereas a lot of other cryptocurrency projects have a long way to go in terms of improving their user experience to try and achieve mass adoption. A lot of people I know are still very intimidated by cryptocurrencies and how easy it is you can lose your lot by just sending something to the wrong address. Koti's vision is that everybody will still have a bank account with an IBAN number but this bank account will be completely compatible with digital currencies. So in your bank account, you might have euros, USD, you might have some Bitcoin, you might have some Ether, you might have some Cardano, you might have some Koti. One of the biggest investors in Koti is actually Cardano and it makes complete sense because a lot of their business interests completely align. They both want to bank the unbanked people in the world. So there's roughly 1.7 billion people in the world that are still without a bank account. Most of these people being from Africa and Asia. So you might have seen recently in the news that Cardano made a massive partnership with the Ethiopian government in Africa and we might see a lot of this replicated across the continent in the near future. All anybody will ever need now is just a phone and they will be able to access an international banking system that was completely out of their reach previously. Koti were the first to receive funding from the Cardano C fund and this kind of shows how important that Koti will be within the Cardano ecosystem. And this was actually an equity deal, so Cardano actually owns shares in the company that is behind Koti. And they have both also worked together in developing Adapay. Another cool project that Koti are working on is a fear or volatility index for the crypto world. There is currently nothing like the VIX index which exists in the stock world in the crypto world. So this is something that you can use to trade. So this is something that you can use to trade or hedge against volatility. But this will be a completely separate token to the Koti token. If you want to keep track of all the latest news and announcements related to Koti, I'll leave a link to this website down here in the description section. There is a good little media feed here that will keep you up to date with all the latest ongoings in their community. Now let's have a look at the tokenomics and the price. So at the time of making this video, the current price of the Koti token is about 41 cents USD. 
that is up around from 36 cents about a month ago so it's still only seeing a slow bit of growth in the actual price the maximum supply of Koti is 2 billion tokens but there's only 669 million tokens actually in circulation at the moment so this is only 33 percent of the max supply if you are interested in actually buying some Koti then you can actually get it on Binance or you can get it on KuCoin also I believe on Binance it is paired with Bitcoin Tether and Binance coin so you need to buy one of those to exchange it into Koti if you want to buy it on that exchange. In terms of staking, you can also earn up to 15% in rewards by staking your Koti. But this is something I want to do a separate video on, so keep an eye out for this in the near future, as I only actually bought Koti myself in the last week and I still haven't actually staked my coins. So just to be clear, this video was not made as financial advice and if you are planning on investing in Koti, make sure and do a lot of research because this is still a very small cap coin and no matter what happens, there's going to be a lot of volatility as Koti goes on its journey. If you want to learn a little bit more about Koti, I recommend you watching an interview that the founder did on the Crypto Capital Venture channel. I'll leave a link to that below also in the description section. Obviously, the founder will be able to inform you much more about the project than I ever could. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you really enjoyed the video and if you did I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and like the video to try and get this out there.